Hi, I'm Mina Caputo from Life of Agony, and this is my tattoo story. My first ever tattoo was this piece from a cat named Mike Ledger in New York City. It was a mistake, because <laughs> I was dating some girl that wound up robbing me and doing dope behind my back and shit like that. And yeah, I, I, I put a name, I, I did the sacrilegious thing, you know, and I fucked up and then um, I wound up covering it so that, yeah, this was my, my first, with the vines and stuff like that. And then Mike Ledger wound up putting some lotus and little thingy in there and you, you can't even see her name. Just the memory of her. I don't know, I'm probably 15. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't, I don't know. It, I got my Bowie, my Bowie. I got a um, Jim Morrison poetry on my leg. I just got some transsexual goddess on my, my thigh. Um, I wish I could strip naked for you, but I don't, <laughs> that's not a good idea. The Bowie is uh, strung out in heaven's high, hitting an all time low. My mom OD'd on heroin when she was 20, and my dad OD'd in 2002. And after my dad had died, I figured, you know, I didn't want to really do the cliche mom and dad thing. So, you know, because of my dad, I grew up listening to Zeppelin, Queen, Bowie, The Beatles, The Stones, Hendrix, Woody Guthrie, Dylan, the list goes on. And I thought, you know, Bowie's my all time favorite. So I figured, you know, I'd, I'd get that line because this song, Ashes to Ashes, was Bowie's way of um, publicly speaking about his challenge with um, the little green monsters, you know. And Probably all my butterflies, and I'm not really done, um, but my butterflies represented a time in my life when I feared I didn't have the courage to be hated or disliked. So, which made me, you know, continuously live as I was living and living, living as a guy and all this stuff and playing that, that role. And, and the butterflies um, represented the femininity that was simmering within me. And I worship the feminine. Everything to me is feminine. The universe, the planets, the stars. You know, I grew up in a time where it was really frowned upon, obviously, more, more so than it is now to be a feminine guy, you know, and especially coming from the music that I've, you know, in the times that I've come from, it was really look, frowned upon and, you know, which made me even, you know, I withdrew even more, I became more of an introvert, I hated myself more, I, I you know, I was very, 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 very confused and just got into bad drugs and suicide attempts and things like that because I just, I hated myself. I was afraid, really, it was all about the fear. But once I moved past the fear, then it was like, you know, it was, um, but always the butterflies. Um, yeah, I think I have, oh yeah. I have, uh, this is Rimbaud, my favorite poet, the French poet, who basically turned the French poetry world on its head in the 1880s, holding Van Gogh's hand. This is Mina Caputo from Life of Agony, and that was my tattoo story.